Hi everyone, I'm Mike, the Partner Success Manager here at School of Sheets. Today I'll be presenting a video tutorial on one of Smartsheet's newest feature, Document Builder. Document Builder is a newly released feature as of October 2020 that allows users to quickly and easily transform Smartsheet data into PDFs. Using Document Builder enables you to quickly scale business operations when it comes to generating reporting, purchase orders, RFPs, or other similar documents. In this video tutorial, we'll be walking through a few different components. We'll cover Smartsheet setup, configuring a PDF template, using Document Builder, and we'll briefly discuss some additional use cases or workflows that can be used in conjunction with this new feature. As for the walkthrough, today we'll be covering a specific use case, generating a sales reporting template that could be used to inform higher level executives of the sales pipeline status. We'll cover the end-to-end -end deployment and discuss some of the nuances that come with using this new feature. If you already have the PDF template handy or want to skip ahead, you can check the description below for timestamps to fast forward to the various sections of the video. Let's get started. So with step number one, we'll navigate to the Smartsheet that we want to use to generate the PDFs for. As I said before, this example will cover sales pipeline reporting. Possibly in your organization, you have higher level executives who either don't have access to Smartsheet or don't have a desire to get into the technical weeds. We'll be able to transform the data in this sheet into PDFs to allow them to more easily be informed of the state of our potential upcoming sales. So first things first, you'll want to make sure your sheet is formatted properly and contains the information that you want to be presented in the PDF. Our sheet contains client names and characteristics such as their sales status, applicable salesperson, potential value, and expected close date. We also have several calculated fields that will update the weighted value and status of the prospect depending on the entered result. We'll show you how managing these updates and developing a mapping in Smartsheet will make your life a lot easier down the road. The next step is to create a fillable PDF. This step can be a bit tricky if you do not already have a PDF to work with. I would suggest creating a template that contains all the desired fields in Microsoft Word or Excel and then saving the file as a PDF. You can see here for the given example, we have the client information and the proposal characteristics as we previously outlined in the Smartsheet. The easiest way to save an Excel or Word file as a PDF is to navigate to File, Print, and enable the printer as Microsoft Print to PDF. Make sure you designate all content should fit on one page. Click Print and navigate to the preferred area where you want to be saved. Click Save. Once the PDF is ready, you will likely have to use a separate application to designate the form fields and make the PDF fillable. This is a key point as Document Builder will only work with fillable PDFs. Any Microsoft Office application is unable to do this on their own. Free versions of Adobe Acrobat, such as Adobe Reader, also do not have the capability to make forms fillable. We'll cover two paths, using the free PDF Escape web application and also using the paid application Adobe Acrobat Pro, which also comes with a free seven day trial. We'll start things off with PDF Escape. Navigate to PDF Escape using the link provided in the description or type in pdfescape.com into your preferred internet browser. You can use either the built-in web app or download the desktop application. For sake of ease, we'll be using the web application. Click Upload PDF to PDF Escape. And now you will locate the PDF that we saved in the prior step and click Open. Now that your PDF is available to modify, you can use the form field creation tool to specify areas of the PDF that you want to be fillable. Click on the areas of the form that you would like to designate and size the field accordingly. Repeat this process for all areas of the form. Once you have designated all form areas of the PDF, you can click save and download. Open the PDF to verify that all corresponding fields have been created. Although this process was a bit manual, as long as the form template remains, it will only have to be completed a single time. Alternatively, we'll now show you how to use Adobe Acrobat to add fillable fields to your PDF. If you have already created the PDF using PDF Escape, feel free to skip this step and fast forward to the next section where we cover Document Builder. If you're interested in learning more about deploying Adobe Acrobat, feel free to continue following along. 
If you don't already have Adobe Acrobat at your disposal, you can take advantage of a seven day free trial. See the link below for direct access to the download page. One important note is that Adobe will automatically detect the corresponding fields in your PDF and make them fillable. I'd highly suggest investing in the $14.99 per month subscription for Adobe Acrobat Pro if you plan on creating many different PDF templates, as it will save you a tremendous amount of time down the road. After registering and downloading, open Adobe Acrobat. Click File, Open, and select the PDF that needs to be made fillable. Look for the Prepare form on the right tool on the right side of the screen. If it's not available, click More Tools. Click Open, and then click Start. You'll see that Adobe has automatically detected all of the fields that I will need to be filled in. As I said before, this is a huge efficiency win if you will need to create many different PDF templates. However, after looking at this a bit further, I can see that it mistakenly identified one field and it did not detect the description field. I'll start by de deleting the mistakenly created field. Next, I can designate the description field by using the text box tool. Since now all of the desired fields are now fillable, we can save the PDF and get to using Document Builder. Next, you can navigate back to your Smartsheet page. Document Builder works on a row by row level. Highlight all the rows you would like to create a document for. Right click. Generate Documents. You may be prompted to sign in. If so, you can do just that. Next, you can click on the form or drag and drop your fillable PDF onto the page. You will see the sheet fields populate on the left and the PDF populate on the right. Mapping these fields is the process of matching the columns, the areas on your sheet. Creating this mapping will be useful as we will save the configuration so that it only needs to happen a single time. What you want to do next is drag and drop the columns from the left side of the screen over the areas of the PDF that you want the data to be filled in. Hovering the column over the PDF will show you in green where the column could be mapped. You can see that each Smartsheet field will have a blue dot next to it after it has been mapped, so you can easily identify which columns are remaining. Once you have mapped all the applicable fields over, I will name this template accordingly. This will make it easier to identify this mapping compared to other mappings I might create in the future. Next, I will click Preview to ensure that the data is being filled in as I intended to. This will pop open a new win browser window for you to review. Since this looks good to me, I'll go back, head back to the tab and click Generate. I now have two options to either download each of the documents or attach them to the rows on the sheet. Downloading is useful if you need to quickly email it or pass it along to a client. For this scenario, we'll be attaching them to the rows as we can always download them from there. It also helps us maintain a record of how a client's status may have changed over time. Click Return to Sheet. Click Save. You can see that the attachments have been added. You or your teammates can download them from here. To reuse this mapping, we'll use the following scenario. A prospect that we previously thought was lost has suddenly changed his mind. Another client proposal decreased as we learn more about their needs. After we've updated the respective values on the Smartsheet, we'll follow most of the same steps as before to generate documents. Highlight the applicable rows, right click, generate documents. You can see that our mapping we used before was saved and is available to use. Click Generate, attach the two rows. Navigating back to the sheet, we can see that our attachments were added. This versioning history will be really helpful for us to understand how our prospect information changed over time. We can download the newest version and check out our finalized PDF.
It's now ready to send to the appropriate party. You've now completed the full gambit of using Document Builder. From managing your smart sheet, to creating a fillable PDF, to creating business user-friendly documents, you should now be qualified to deploy Document Builder as needed. To conclude this walkthrough, I wanted to list out a few ways you can expand your usage of this feature. You could create a smart sheet report pulling the attachments. You could use Zapier to port these documents directly to Google Drive or even automatically send a PDF to a client or stakeholder. Here at School of Sheets, we'd be happy to guide you to using Document Builder to the fullest extent. Feel free to learn more about us on our website or review our content on our blog. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up to help more people see it and subscribe to get the latest Smartsheet tutorials and video updates. Leave a comment or question in the comment section below as we read and respond to them all. You can also find additional resources and the links as I mentioned before in the description of the video. Have a great day.